Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Make It Fair, the Power Racing Series. We're going to have some fantastic racing for you today. If you guys don't know, this is the Power Racing Series. What we do is we take right out kids' toys. You know those power wheels you buy your kids. They drive them around the neighborhood for a year or two. Then they grow out of them and they kill the batteries. Then you come up on Craigslist or worse, you throw them out. We take them off your hands. And we turn them into lean, mean racing machines. We turn kids' cars into real race cars because all our care participants are merely kids at heart. And we do it for all less than $500. That's right. For the price of a new power wheel, you can take an old one and turn it into a grown race car for adults. Because people who make these things, they're engineers or students, artists who frankly don't know any better. They put it all together and they race them around our tracks. We do this from coast to coast. We started our season in San Francisco just last month and we're slowly working our way east. We got races coming up in Detroit, Pittsburgh, Nashville, Milwaukee, and New York City. We do this all for imaginary points because at the end of the season, we crown ourselves the champions. And right now, we're going to have a fantastic race for you today. This will be a sprint race. They're going to try to do 30 laps. It's a 30 lap sprint as fast as possible around our track. We will be racing around our track and we'll be racing for your heart. What do I mean by that? Because we got moxie votes. Moxie points are what we do to level the playing field for some of our slower vehicles. We have a moxie board going around right now. So if I can get the moxie board, hold it up high and turn around. Everyone over there sees there's a board. And every single car has a button on that board. And every single button press turns into race points, which means our champion can be a car that's not only just fast, but awesome as well. So, we need you to vote for as many cars and as often as you like to be from Chicago style voting. All these cars were built for less than $500. They're capped out at 48 volts. We limit them with a fuse to just two horsepower. So we got really nice level racing here. People who know what they're doing, they end up being fast. People who don't know what they're doing end up making a car that looks good. And they hope they go for Moxie. We had some very fast cars qualifying today from Rizzo Racing all the way from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Had a fantastic 14 second lap that no one was able to best. Almost drove the wheels off that thing to get it. But hot on his tail is Fubar from New Jersey. Or do I say you're from Idaho now or what? But Idaho, New Jersey. And not far behind them, from Chicago, is the card of a thousand faces. These three cars all sub 15 second laps. In fact, even the aristocrats, track at the 15 second mark, may have been able to do better and faster. You got, I guess you got uh, a little scared on the braking there? Yeah, a little, a little scared. It went too fast for it. All these cars we got, like I said, from Chicago, New York, or uh, New Jersey. We've got cars from Omaha, Milwaukee, Pittsburgh. We also have some right here in town. The Countdown's Peter Browner, CCTKC with their duct tape and zip ties and their F-150. Their hometown heroes, unfortunately, bring it up the rear, which means, you know what that means? They need your moxie boats. That's right, so that moxie board is going around. Be sure to help them out. 30 lap sprint race. We want a clean race. Because if you don't get us a clean race, you're going to have to answer to our Grim. Where's my Grim? Grim there with the black flag. He's going to pull you in the side of the track and issue some sort of penalty. Whatever it is, I'm not sure what that will make you do. But you're going to have to atone for your racing sins before you're allowed to continue. 30 laps around our track. Yeah, just 30 laps. And I, I'm very impressed that 
at the field we have put together this weekend, some tremendous fields. I mean, I uh, to say that the, the Oscar Minor Wiener Mobile isn't the only bit of effort in the field is tremendous, because look at that amount of effort. It's entirely built from scratch. There's no Wiener power wheel that doesn't exist, but if it did, it would look like that. Hopefully, uh, it, it, hopefully it's going to be a one piece by the end of the day. I, I don't know how that is. I've seen the laps you're putting down, man. Let's just say, uh, hold on tight, because uh, there, there isn't lots of height for people. It just doesn't exist. Um, at, at, at the front and pole position, Risen Racing, uh, they, they definitely put a very fast car together. Incremental improvements from last year. If you're here last year, or the year before, you've seen this car as the, the flavor ice car, the uh, 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 Terminator themed car, and now now moving on to Joker themed. And uh, we also have Kumbar Labs in second place. They came very, very close to winning a title last year, and they are back on the title hunt. They, they started in San Mateo this year and had Quite the questionable start, a very sad start to the year, and this is the race for redemption for them. They had one of the fastest cars in the Bay Area, and unfortunately, they didn't even get the starter race. They completed only four laps for an entire race week, and that includes a 75-minute endurance race. So look out for the poop emoji to rise again from that toilet and scare all of us in the first place. <laughs> Coming Station 1 has not had a win since 2011, but they're in third place right now at the start of this race, so there is some potential for redemption. Not only the theme for this weekend for the series of races, a lot of cars looking to answer stories that, that you know, nobody in, in earshot is aware of, but there's actually a narrative going on, which is surprising for tiny toy cars that are made of junk cars. The waffle cart also, you know, it makes it sound awful. Like, there's no story behind that, that's just something cool, right? Like it, she has a trailer, it makes waffles, it has a 70 amp, 70 amp inverter. It's very cool. All right, so without much further to do, uh, track marshals, are you ready? Thumbs up from the track marshals? Everyone, round of applause for our track marshals. They're putting themselves in danger for you. Their ankles are in jeopardy for you. And, and they are so, they so wish they could keep them. But they, they volunteered for this. They're doing this all out of their hearts and in the sun and watching and minding their ankles. Uh, track marshal, are you ready? Drivers, are you ready? We got thumbs up. Everyone's car is good. Every power wheel is powered on. And more importantly, fans, are you ready? <laughs> All right. So without much further ado, let's do our. We'll, we'll wait for Patrick so we can do the parade lap. One more send off before they go. Yeah, we're gonna get everyone uh, we're gonna begin the parade lap. Sorry. All right. So parade lap. Everyone, wave on these drivers. We'll look all weekend. It's only worse from here on out. Everyone say hello. We're making sure the train spots are there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. 